Today I'm going to be recreating these gorgeous cherry blossom nails from Dreamy Little Nails. These nails are so cute. So when I first saw these nails, I was like, oh my goodness, they are just so detailed and so intricate. Like, oh my goodness. I was like, how does she do this? <laughs> what in the world? This is just gorgeous. Like, do y'all see this detail? Just gorgeous, okay? So yeah, I wanted to recreate these when I first saw them. Uh, when did she post these? Uh, three weeks ago, wow. <laughs> it seemed like it was so much longer than that. But yeah, I wanted to recreate these, but I had no idea on what she did. Sometimes I can look at a picture and be like, oh, okay, they did this and this, but this time I had no clue. But thankfully, she uploaded a tutorial about it. So if y'all didn't see it, definitely check her out. Dreamy little nails. So yeah, this is how I'm gonna be doing this just by following her nail tutorials. If y'all wanna go ahead and check her out, definitely do, but these nails are so cute that I wanna recreate them. So here we go. All right, so I had to grab some things from Amazon. I have some wire, jewelry wire, cause that's what she used. This is probably what I should have used for the other flower nails that I did, but you know, you live and you learn. She also said I needed something to do like the shape of the petal. So I'm gonna use my one size eyeliner. And then she had a Q-tip, but her Q-tip looked a little thicker than mine, but I'm gonna use this. We'll see if it works. And then I need kind of something in between. Let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna use the this little brush handle. That should be the width of something that I need. I am gonna make these nails into press-ons just like she did because these are way too pretty and I would like to wear them again. And because I have kids and I do Maya's hair every morning before school, I'm gonna need to take these off. So they're gonna be press-ons. Okay, so I got this 0.2 millimeter wire. I don't know, I hope it is like, it seemed like it's gonna be stiff enough. Uh, all right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start making the petals. And it looks like she made a lot of them. So, oh my God, this may take a while. But anyway, she wrapped it around like this. And she said to kind of do it until it's really tight and there's no gap. Uh, so we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep on twisting. All right, okay. <laughs> That's starting to look like what hers look like. And uh, oh, I should have cut this wire. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. I was like, oh, I hope the wire that I got is small enough to cut. And it is. So, uh oh, okay. I'm just gonna slide that out. And we're gonna set that right there. Okay, so this time I'm going, she just said, you know, you don't need that much of a tail. So I'm gonna just do like this. And we're gonna cut this. And we're just gonna twist you about. I guess, or you can do it like this. Hmm, I find it a little more effective to do it like this. Oh, this is so delicate, y'all. All right, I'm finding out that my bottle has this little, I mean, my little form has this dip in it. Not good. Come on, can I wiggle you off? Ah, I didn't want to open it. <laughs> All right, try not to get any black on it. All right, yay. The next time we're gonna start from this end. Okay, and twirl, twirl, twirl. <laughs> All right, uh-oh, I bent that a little bit. We don't want to do that just yet. All right, so I've made all of my big cherry blossoms. So there's there's gonna be three of them. So I had to make 15 of these. My poor little finger. <laughs> all right, so next I'm gonna go to this size. I'm gonna make, I don't know, a lot of these too. I found it easier to kind of snip off the extra. And we're just gonna twirl this around as well. Making sure there's not a gap. You kind of gotta hold this part a little tight just to make sure. Okay. Well, it slips right on out. <laughs> but that is that. 
this one's gonna be one of the big ones and then it's medium or medium small so i gotta make a boatload of these as well so i'll be back all right so i got 15 of the medium size so we're gonna move these out the way and then i'm gonna use this q-tip for the smaller size so we're just gonna cut the top off and uh yeah we're gonna keep on twirling this has been taking forever <laughs> it's not that it's hard it's that it's very time consuming but yeah i find that if i oh well we gotta keep it on there now okay i find that if i just hold it like this and then just twirl it trying to keep it straight when you feel it you know it's gonna stay so if you feel it it's like tight it should be all right Come on. <laughs> okay. And that's the eeny weeny flower or petal. So let me go ahead and place that on here. And I'm probably gonna make 15 of these as well. All right, so <laughs> I finally got, I guess, a lot of petals. Ooh, that took a while. And yes, I got my earbuds in because I had to jam out while I was doing this because it was just so repetitive. <laughs> so now we have to um, kind of like squeeze them to make them into the shape of the cherry blossom. I know the Japanese word is sakura. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. I've been saying sakura. <laughs> sakura. All right, so dreamy little nails. She said to kind of like, I don't know if this is, let me clean this tweezer right quick. <laughs> I use this thing for everything and I don't clean it like I need to, so it's a little sticky. Oh, this is <laughs> it's kind of throwing my hair enough. Let me take them out right quick. We're just going to put these back in here. I ain't never really been an earbud person, but I actually really like these. <laughs> they are really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and just, yeah, I got gel polish on here. I need to do better. <laughs> I do need a little refresher on how she did this, so excuse me for a second. Okay, she's just squeezing it. Oh, okay, you just squeeze it. All right, I think I can do that. All right, so pretty much just. Mm, okay. <laughs> Maybe I need another tweezer. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna just do it like. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this again. I'm trying to stretch you out. Okay, and then on this side. Oh, all right. I'm gonna have to play with this. to kind of get it <laughs> uh okay let's see okay i'm getting closer okay we're gonna go with something like that and then she said just basically squeeze this into a v Okay, I'm gonna have to do this a few times to kind of get it down. It's starting to look like a heart. I don't like that. Uh, I don't like, I don't like. All right, mine are gonna look a little wavy, but it's okay. <laughs> See, all my tweezers are kind of bent. She was using a straight tweezer. Ooh, I actually have one. I have this one from, who is this from? PS Star. I think this was sent to me in PR like years ago. Yay, I got a straight one. Let's see if I can do what she did again. This was kind of like the only part of the tutorial that I was like, mm, I don't get it. Pretty much just squeezed it right here and squeezed it right there. Oh, it's not the same. I don't know. Mine are gonna have a more organic feel to them. And then we just squeeze that. Yeah, something like that. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Yay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we just wanna play around with it. It does bend extremely easily, like she said, so don't wanna play with it too much if you like the shape. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this to make a make a V shape at the bottom. And then we're gonna take the tool that we use to even make the shape because this is pretty flat. So we wanna curve it around here to kind of give it, give it some curve <laughs> so it's not so flat. Ooh, yeah, so it's like, it's like curved. Okay, now since I got the hang of it, let me see if I can like fix these because these ain't, these ain't what it's supposed to be given. Okay, that's better than nothing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sit this on here and curve it. Ooh, okay, this is making me feel better. <laughs> it's not as bad. All right, so I gotta do that to all of these. So I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so after I've been doing this like a million times, I think I finally have a strategy to make it look like a cherry blossom petal, <laughs> not leaf, petal. Pretty much what I do is find the center, pinch, go to the right, and then go to the left. And that's kind of like what I've been doing. And if you gotta do it again. So where it kind of looked like a heart, but kind of not, it's kind of, uh, you know, with the smaller ones. It's a little bit more small and delicate, so. And I'll just do the same to bend it, to curve it with the same thing that I made the, the actual form with. Something like that. I still have a long way to go. All right, so I have all of my petals shaped, bent, you know, all that good stuff. Oh, I got one that I missed. They're all not ready yet. Let me just do this one right quick. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm pretty much find the center, turn it, and then turn it the other way. And something like that. And bend. Okay, now we're all done. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna take some of this uh, Bling It Rhinestone Gel. I am really starting to like this stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of this and this is how we're going to make the first layer of our petals strong. So yeah, you wanna grab a clear, thick gel. Hopefully it's not too thick. But I'm just gonna put a dollop down Okay, so taking the tweezers, I am just going to, okay, it's probably easier to do it without the tweezers. All right, so I'm just gonna put this in here. I was fighting. <laughs> All right, kind of smushing it down in there. And then, okay. All right, so maybe, oh, maybe this gel is not the best for this. And I picked up a few things from Sweetie Nail Supply for this video. And I was curious about this because it says it's a top coat, non-wipe, and it has a hard texture. So let us see. I think this may be what I'm looking for. And we're just gonna, okay, it does seem a little thicker. I'm just gonna put a good amount down. I have a lot of petals, huh? <laughs> In Dreamy Little Nails video, she had like this whole squirt bottle of resin. I need to find out what that is and get some. I'm actually gonna use my tweezers like I should. All right, so we're gonna try this again. I'm just gonna dip this in like this. Mm, it's not really getting it like it needs to. It's supposed to like stick. <laughs> I can't really get it to do it. All right, let's see. Mm, none of this is working. Why? I thought this would have been the easy part. All right, one more thing I'm gonna try. Yeah. I don't have any other type of gel. All right, I'm just gonna stick this in here. All right, I think we're finally getting somewhere. Oh no, it's opening up. All right, 
we finally did it. So I pretty much just have to dunk it into the gel bottle. I'm making sure everything is out the way. And I'm just gonna flash cure this. Ooh, oh yeah. Okay, that is actually really nice. Can I touch it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I can touch it. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna continue to do this with all of these. Ooh, it worked. Okay, so yeah, she used a little paper and did it, but that didn't work for me as y'all saw. So I just have to dunk mine in. Ooh, this is gonna turn out so cute. Okay, I want to make sure it's not too much. We just need just a little thin coating. Oh, it's gonna be cute. And once again, making sure that it's out the way and give that a cure. And so this is just a flash cure. Once everything is done, I'm gonna put this whole tray inside of my nail lamp so everything can be cured. Because the last thing we want is uncured gel being exposed to us, okay? That is a no-no. Finally, I love it when stuff finally works out. All right, so we are gonna dip you in now. Okay, I'm starting to love this blanket gel even more. It is so versatile, like, because it's no wipe, there's no stickiness, there's no tacky layer to worry about, and it's really clear. So, I like. It is from Lizette Gel Nails, if y'all didn't know. I'll try to leave a link down below if I can find one, but I really like this stuff. I found a little tip to kind of help me with this is don't rush. So I just put this inside of the jar, wait a couple seconds, wait for it to kind of like. <laughs> and then I just slowly pull it out. Okay, that, that didn't work. <laughs> But yeah, I find that when I let it sit there for a couple seconds and then I should be able to pull it out. Okay, that is better. Yeah, everything is very slow with gel, but I think that's better than smelling monomer. So, you know, but anyway, I just go ahead and kind of let the gel flow. So once I got that little strip off, I just pretty much let it flow and kind of just let it kind of take shape. I kind of hold it up so it can kind of fall down a little bit. And then I hold it like this. Just pretty much guiding the gel where I want it to go, but letting gravity do all the work. Once it, it kind of gets to what I like, making sure that is out the way, I just go ahead and flash cure. So yeah, this is gonna be a very tedious and slow process. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so I finally, oh, it's always one. Okay, no, that was good. All right, so we finally got all of our petals. We got the large, the medium, and the small. Ooh, that took a while. That took me probably about an hour to dip these all in clear. <laughs> so we have to paint them so they can be the cherry blossom color. I was trying to see what I wanted to do. If I'm just going with the design, I think probably this one would be better. Um, but then I got like this glitter, I think would be really cute. I don't know. I'm kind of probably gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, let's just start off with the original design. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of pink on here and a little dollop of red. I think the most time consuming part of this is that you have to touch every petal like three or four times. I don't see, and this one got a big fat air bubble. I was trying my best to not get air bubbles, but it happens. Gonna take a little bit of this on my brush. And we're gonna go ahead and paint it. Mmm, I may need to get something a little more pink. This isn't, it's a little too translucent. Hmm, I'm just gonna do a few coats of this. So we're gonna do our first coat. Because I don't want it to be like really like pink. I want everything to be translucent. So that's why we use these little soft colors. 
All right, so let me go ahead and cure that. All right, let's see what a second coat would look like. I just like, I wanted to get that nice pink color without having to really use a very uh, opaque pink. This one is gonna be nice. Oh my goodness. This is like true art. I literally have to paint every petal. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Now dipping my brush into the Jelly Red polish, I'm just going to add a little bit right there and we're just going to feather it out. Ooh, it makes me look like I'm a real artist. <laughs> Ooh, that is starting to look like something. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that red jelly. And we're just going to just put it down here so it can be deep. You know, we're going for like the ombre. All right, I think that would do. And we go ahead and cure that. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this Diami. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm gonna go in with this one because it did say it has a hard texture and it's no white. I want to give the most strength that I can give to these petals because they're gonna be on my nails and I'm not the most gentle on my nails. So hopefully these won't break. I'm trying to give it a fighting chance. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint a top coat over the whole petal. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and cure that. One petal down, like 60 to go. <laughs> so I didn't think that um, I was gonna get done. I don't know, part of me thought like, oh, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> it's gonna be easy nail design. Uh, No, I mean, it's not, it's not really like difficult to do. It's just very tedious. But oh my God, these are gonna be so gorgeous which is why I want to do personal ones. I want to be able to wear these again, okay? Especially for all of this work. This is so cute how it's looking like a real cherry blossom petal. Just from polishing the petals, they do feel very sturdy. So I think this combination of gel is really good. Okay, so just so we can kind of see where, where we going here. Ooh, that's gonna be cute. All right, so. As I was doing these petals, I was like, I need to be cutting these stems off so I ain't gotta go back through and do it. Hopefully, <laughs> she was able to just cut them. So I'ma see if I can do that too. Well, we're gonna cut with, <laughs> I'm left-handed, but I cut better with my right hand. Okay, let's see. Yay! Once it's all painted, um, it's just best to go ahead and cut that extra piece off. I don't know, I still got a lot. <laughs> I still have a lot to paint. I have to paint all of these and all of these. I swear I don't know why I do this to myself. Yes, I was really hoping that I could cut this because gel was getting on the stem here. So I was like, oh, I hope it's still, it's still cuttable. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick check-in. I have been sitting here for a very long time, but I finished all of the big petals. And now I'm working on the medium ones. The smaller ones, I can get away with one coat of the pink. So that's what I've been doing. But yeah, since they're smaller, I can kind of just slop it on. You don't want to make it too thick though. So yeah, I can cut down time by just doing one coat of the pink. I still got to do two of the red, but it's not that bad. And so for the red, just put a little on there like before. All right, it's so tiny. Let's try to make sure I'm kind of smoothing it out a little bit. Okay. <laughs> All right. And we just put the little teeny tiny red at the base. So yeah, I was using this one. I didn't really like how this was, it kind of was still sticky after I was carrying it. So I think it needs a really long time because it is that hard texture. I ain't got time for all that. <laughs> so I switched over to this one and it kind of just wasn't the gloss that I'm used to. So y'all know <laughs> I had to go with Oh Ye Faithful and this is giving me that glass look that I like. 
So I'm just top coating the top and the bottom side of the petal. And we're just gonna go ahead and cure that. So yeah, that is pretty much how I've been doing them. And oh, it is so many to do. I really, really hope this nail set is as cute as I think it's gonna be because whew, your girl is putting in some work. Nice and cured, not tacky. And we're gonna go ahead and cut the stem. I am finally finished with all the petals. Oh my God, that took entirely way too long. Y'all wanna know how long it took? <laughs> Talk about four hours on these petals. Moving along. So yeah, I said I was gonna do press-ons for these because that was a lot of work. We are gonna reuse these. And so I picked up these corn tip from Diami. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> but this is the Korean brand of like the Gel X tips. So um, I see that's what all the like Korean nail artists use. So I'm gonna use these. Oh, they're, they're really clear and they seem to fit well. I do like how this one fits. It's just a little bit, not my shape around the cuticle area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and file this. All right, I got my tips picked out and I'm gonna use these nail tip bands. And I've had this, uh, what is this? A m removable mounting putty. <laughs> I've had it a while, I hope it still works. But uh, yeah, we're just going to put these on here to make it a little easier. Cause although I do like to do my nails like on my hand, I think for this design, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna need a little help. So we are gonna do it off the nail first. Well, everything off the nail and then I'll put the nail on. Next, I'm gonna go in with the same color pink that I use for the petals and we're gonna do our ombre. That's the only thing. Like when I do it like this, I don't be knowing how far. <laughs> All right, so I need to take it to the end of that. So for this nail, it was just pretty much where the little pink part ends. So I'm probably gonna end up doing like maybe two coats of this. But I'm just gonna take this little gradient brush and we're gonna just tap. And yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I would like to cover up as much of my natural nail as possible without ruining or going all the way down because I do love the clearness of these. And once again, we're just gonna tap around where I want it to be a gradient. And we're just gonna put a second coat on here. I guess it's not gonna be like super duper opaque, but it's good enough. There's gonna be so many petals on here that I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> and dup, dup, dup. I think this one kind of just blends on its own. I don't even know if this brush is doing anything. You can probably better see it from that angle. All right. So now we have all of our nails with our top coat, not top coat, but you know, the base color. And I totally forgot to do base coat and buff the nail. So hopefully this shouldn't peel off. I hope not. Moving along. So I'm gonna be adhering the petals with a blanket. I'm gonna need some tweezers. I think I'll probably just stick with the straight ones. Tweez. She picked up a petal and dipped it into the gel. Hmm. I don't want it too far up on my nail. So I'm gonna start right here. Okay. All right, I think that's coming along. You know what, I'm gonna use my left hand. I don't know why I'm trying to be cute. <laughs> I am left-handed, okay? And then the next one, I'm gonna put, oh, this is gonna look so good. Dip it in. Yeah, the reason why I do like this blanket gel is that it don't play, okay? When you hit it <laughs> with the light, it hardens and it keeps your charms and stuff put. Don't have to be kind of like overlapping a little bit. Okay. Just keep it, keep it on here. Ooh, <laughs> that is looking really good already. But yeah, this one has just a little extra tail on it. I think that may get in the way, so I'm gonna cut that off. 
I'm gonna sit this one like that. Oh, I am so glad I made these into personal ones. I am definitely gonna be wearing these. These are so cute and they're not even done yet. Definitely gonna have to full cure this, but this is just to get them on. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that, you know, this is working cause ooh, I was a little discouraged cause it was taking so long. These nails are definitely a labor of love cause uh, I don't think there's any amount of money that <laughs> Somebody can pay me to make them these. Like, this is too much. This is only for me. I'm gonna bend it like that. I'm gonna put that right there. Mm, it's gonna be big. I am just gonna lightly hold it up and then cure. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be pretty. So I just went ahead and finished this one so far you know i'm gonna add some pearls and stuff to it but i am working on the ring finger so it's pretty much the same process just dipping the tip into the gel so something like this oh yeah like that and then i had to switch over to the big boy because that other one wasn't curing as fast as i needed it to I just need this to hold my place. <laughs> Ooh. Just gonna place it right here. Ooh. You know what this reminds me of? I'm gonna show my age, but <laughs> when I was growing up, I had this touch lamp in my room. Y'all remember them touch lamps, the gold ones with the pretty little glass in them and you tap them three times to get the brightness. Yeah, the one that I had had this little gold trim and oh, it was so beautiful. But yeah, this reminds me of my touch lamp that I had on my nightstand. And I'm gonna put you right here. Okay, you just fit right in there. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is the index finger. I'm working with a very tiny, tiny petals and I'm just doing the same thing, just dipping it in the gel. Because these are really tiny, they're kind of staying in place and then I'll cure it all, you know, once everything is in place. I am so proud of these. <laughs> So this is what I have so far. All right, so next we're gonna go in with some pearls. So we're just gonna put some gel inside of here. I can pick up the pearl. And then I'm just gonna add some caviar beads. So delicate. Okay, so I like it like that. For lash care. So this is what it looks like so far. I am so happy about this. <laughs> so I'm almost done. Uh, the only thing I have to do is the little bead kind of branch looking thing. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I need to go ahead and grab some more of this gold wire. I don't think I need that much, but I'm just gonna cut this. And my beads. I got these from Amazon. I was gonna dump them into the case, but I'm like, no, I think I'm just gonna keep them in this bag. These would just spill everywhere. I think I'm gonna do the branch, the bead branch on the middle finger and the thumb. All right, so we just gotta grab one. Come on, stay on. Okay, <laughs> we got it on there. All right, I'm just gonna half it like that. Okay, and we just twist until you don't have any gap. All right, so we do got to double check to see how we how we want this. I want mine kind of, this is the only, okay, that's way too long. <laughs> way too long. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't, <laughs> can't see. Okay, so pretty much just grabbing the bead and twisting it to get rid of the gap. Oh. That was a little more difficult than I was expecting. Okay, I'm gonna go with that length. And I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other sides. Oh, this is so tedious. Okay, so I'm just gonna twist this. Okay, coming together. All right, so I got that. 
I'm just gonna cut this and we're gonna dip it into the gel and I'm gonna just put it like right here and flash care. Ooh, that's cute. And then we can like move it if we want to. Just gonna leave it like that. But that's how that looks. All right, so the last thing I'm doing is putting on some top coat, like all over. <laughs> it is all right, as long as it's not thick. What I should have done was top coat the nails before I put all of the petals on because the pink base is still has a has a tacky layer. So I'm really trying to get that really. But yeah, just go ahead and top coat everything. And I'm being careful to not let anything pull up. So yes, it's a new day. It was getting too late. So your girl went to bed. But anyway. <laughs> So these are the beauties the next morning. Oh my goodness. They look even more beautiful the next morning. I'm in love. All right, so like I said, these are gonna be press on. So I got my sticky tabs. I did my prep yesterday. I thought I was gonna end up doing the gel X, you know, gluing them on, but no, these are gonna be press ons. So pretty much I'm just going to pick out, uh, you know, which tab fits the best. So I think when I was doing press-ons last time for the Titanic set, I wasn't choosing the like biggest ones. I don't know what, why I wasn't, but I want these to really like stick. So we're gonna do a kind of, not oversized, but I want it to really fit from side to side. All right. So we're just gonna start from the pinky and work our way. So now I'm just gonna take off this little plastic piece. And we're just gonna sit you right here and press. Ooh, oh, that feels sturdy. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, these feel really sturdy. These actually, you know, they don't feel like they're gonna go anywhere, hopefully. And the thumb. Wow, these are something. Okay, let me put some cuticle oil on. Try not to get it on the nails. I just want to, you know, for it to be on my skin. These are so beautiful. All right, so here is the finished look. Oh my God. All those hours of making these petals were definitely worth it because this is like the most beautiful nail design I think I've ever did. And let's not forget the thumb. Oh my God. Now they are big. <laughs> the flowers are huge, but I just love it. Oh, wow. So what y'all think? Did I do it justice? I think I did. <laughs> I am so proud of myself, okay? All right, so nails are on and I'm gonna see what Marcus thinks about them. Let's see. Hey. Sir, man. <laughs> How can I help you? Hey. Hey. What's up? You look comfy. I oh, am. Yeah. What you think about my nails? <laughs> Wait, I gotta get up. So long. Let me get some light. What? Are these charms? No. I made every single petal. What? Yes. How? Aren't I awesome? <laughs> uh, how, how? This looks like some Jew nail stuff. It does, don't it? This is Korean all the way. I am ready for my flight. Ooh, those are gonna get caught on everything. I know, right? <laughs> but those are cool. Thank you. They look like they're gonna scratch the hell out of me. Stay away. Yeah, <laughs> rah, No, no. I could literally look at these all day. Gorgeous. Oh my God. I can't really show them all together because the flowers are so big. All right, so this recreation was a doozy, okay? This was a lot of work. I'm kind of. <laughs> kind of mentally checked out now. But if you enjoy watching me recreate nail designs, check out these videos right here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.